Katia V5 creating projections. So let's see. I am within Jati shape design and I'm going to use the projection tool over here. If I press Shift F1, we're going to see that the projection will project a point or curve onto a support element. So let's see how that will work. We can either do the projection along a direction or normal. Let's see, along a direction, we're going to have within the projected section, we can select, for example, a point. The support will be the surface where we want this to be projected. And for the direction, I will add the Z compass. As you can see, the orientation will be like this. I will click preview and we're going to have that point over here projected onto the surface on the Z axis. So if I will go all the way to the top view, we're going to see how that point will be projected onto that surface. We can also add wireframe geometry. So for example, I can add the spline over here. So we're going to have this selection over here. So this is translated one for the projected. If I will click preview, we're going to have that curve position. So we can do also smoothing for this curve. If I will go with tangency, we're going to see that if the deviation will be set, for example, to one, in this case, it will um, be the same. We can also choose curvature or we can choose none. We can also modify the extrapolation. So if I will go over here with tangency, this will actually keep this line all the way over here onto the surface. So as you can see, that curve has been um, extended using um, that this tangent sketch over here. The same will be positioned within the other side. So for the extrapolation, keep in mind that you can add tangency. We can also add curvature over here. The main difference between tangency and curvature is that currently the projected will be everything selected over here. As you can see, we will not have an additional uh, element. If I will go with tangency, we're going to have the original projected mesh over here and afterwards you're going to have the extended section. In this case, both of those will be nested under project one, just like within curvature. And we also have none, which is a default option without that extrapolation. We can also do that projection for multiple elements. So for example, I want to take this ellipse over here. I want to take the point over here. Let's see if I will be able to select that point. I will select uh, otherwise. Okay, so I cannot select that because Katia wants me to define the support now. So I just go back to project and I want to project that point as well. Keep in mind that when you do another selection, Katia will automatically jump you within the support. So I also want to take that over here. We're going to see that now only the extract one will be added. So I will add that and also the point. And I will click close. We're going to have three elements selected. For the support, I will choose the bottom sphere over here and again for the direction I will go with the z-axis and we're going to have the ellipse projected over here onto the, the surface of the of the green sphere we're going to have that um, line and also the point again if I will choose in this case tangency we're going to have a warning so for this case since we have multiple elements I will choose not to go with extrapolation. So this was an overview regarding projection within Jatiche design. I hope you find this video useful. I will position animation um, on the bottom over here. So consider to give this video a thumbs up or also consider to subscribe for more additional content. So that's it. Thanks for watching.